Today we celebrate Lag Baomer, a day which marks the culmination of the tragic events when 24,000 students of Rabbi Akiva all died in a plague between Pesach and Shavuot. And the Talmud tells us that this happened to them because they did not treat each other with respect. And this begs the question, they were the students of Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva proclaimed that Love your fellow as yourself is the greatest principle in the entire Torah. How is it then that they, the students of Rabbi Akiva, were guilty of erring in this very area? But the answer to the question is simple, and it lies in the fact that they indeed loved each other, but unfortunately they didn't respect each other. The Rebbe explains that even the deepest of love is deficient if the element of respect is absent. As the expression goes, smothered with love, and it refers to an intrusive love that is not tempered by respect. So indeed, Rabbi Akiva's students were overflowing with, the, with love for each other, real love, but they failed to complement their love with respecting their fellows as discrete human beings with unique opinions and views, different opinions than theirs, but they're just as valid. A person once approached Rabbi Israel Salanter and he lamented that he was having a rocky relationship with his wife. Whatever I do for her is not enough, he said. The rabbi smiled and said, you're doing for her that which you want to do for her, not what she wants done for her. You see, you are loving her, but not respecting her, explained the sage. Because love is about me. I love you. But respect is about the other person. One of the most common places that we make the mistake of Talmud Rabbi Akiva, the students of Rabbi Akiva, is with marriage. For example, your wife likes flowers, but you're hesitant to get them. Why? Because you think it's a waste of money. Or... Your wife says that, uh, I saw a mouse in the house, that's it, we're moving to another planet. And you think, that's crazy, she comes from another planet. Vice versa is the same thing. Your husband needs to watch football undisturbed on Sundays. You think he needs to finish the uh, garden work that he started two months ago. Or, for example, your husband, he wants a fast and a status car. You think, what about a safe and a practical family car? In all these cases, love alone will not solve the issue. Because you may love your spouse very much, but that's still not an excuse or reason to concede to something that in your mind is irrational. In fact, sometimes it's precisely because you love your spouse to pieces that you insist that he or she sees things in your way. Well, I love them. And this is where respect kicks in. Because the key to a healthy marriage is respecting your spouse's opinions and feelings, even when they seem completely insane. So let's take the message of Rabbi Akiva's students' mistake and internalize it, respect and love together. Shabbat Shalom. And happy like